Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nathan and this is Sioux Shrimp Breeders. I really hope that this video can help some of you out there who really want to get into shrimp keeping and knowing just when to do your water changes. I find this process to be not very difficult because I don't use that many things in water changes. When I first started shrimp keeping, I really didn't know exactly when to do water changes. Some people would say once a week and others would say once a month. But then when I realized after keeping shrimp for a few years, I do water changes based on each individual tank. Some of my tanks are very large while others are very small. So doing water changes on larger tanks once a week is a lot of work and it really doesn't need to be done. Most of my shrimp tanks are fairly large. The two that I'm going to be doing in this video are a 30 gallon and a 33 gallon. Both of these tanks have not had a water change in about a month. And I find that to be just about the sweet spot for most of my tanks. But sometimes I go even longer if the tank is really, really new. Some of my older, more established colonies like this one here, I do water changes about once every couple of weeks because the colony is really large. I did take out about 50 to 60 blue bolts and blue steels out of this tank, so it has gone down in numbers just a little bit. When I take the filter out, I want to be a little bit careful not to take any of the shrimp with me, especially the babies, so I do like to use white buckets. That's just to double check to make sure that I do not have any kind of shrimp on my filters when I take them out. This is just a homemade filter that I made a long, long time ago that I decided to reuse in this tank. And so far it does seem to work pretty good as it's a double filter. And I do like a lot of filtration in most of my shrimp tanks. When I clean my filters, I always use my tank water because I want to be sure that there's no chlorine in the water when I'm cleaning these because it will kill the beneficial bacteria in those filters, which shrimp really, really need. I like to use my sponge filters as another indicator on when to do my water changes. And these are pretty dirty, so I'm going to have to probably do another water change in about a week to a week and a half. It's just to get caught back up on the bio load of that tank. The water that I'm going to be putting back into these tanks comes from a 50 gallon rain barrel that I've set up with reverse osmosis water. When you are using reverse osmosis water, most of the time it will come out as long as your filters and the unit are clean at a very low TDS and mine happens to come out at about a three. What TDS is, is total dissolved solids. And what that means is how many things are in the water, have it be shrimp waste, have it be plant matter, have it be all the things in that tank. I'm feeding these shrimp some snowflake food, and I really like snowflake food during my water changes. Snowflake food is really good for getting shrimp off of my plants and filters and stuff like that before I do my water changes because I really don't want to lose any of the babies in the roots. For the last couple of years, I have started only using three things to do a water change every time I do it. I use a TDS meter, prime water conditioner, and some shrimp salts. The shrimp salts that I'm using is called B Shrimp GH+. Rather than get into everything that these salts do, all I do is add these salts to my pure RO water for a TDS of 130 
for every single one of my Caradina tanks. I usually know that one scoop of these salts gives me just about the TDS that I want. And what I usually always do is add just a few drops of Prime. After I add the shrimp salts and the prime to the water, I give it a really good stir and I add it immediately. I did not show myself pouring it into the tank because there are many different ways to do this. I honestly just take that five gallon bucket and pour it right into the tank. If you wanna learn more about shrimp and shrimp keeping, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't because that is what this channel is all about. In this tank, I'm gonna be feeding them some of my homemade shrimp food, and they really love this food in particular, and this is my spinach blend. I like to feed my tanks before I take out my filters, and that's just because it takes them away from the filter. And trust me, there's always a couple of dumb shrimp in the tank that do not want to get off the filter. Having a lot of plants in my tanks makes sure that I don't have to do water changes as often. Having some floating plants and having some rooted plants in a lot of my tanks means that my tank stays a little more stable. Usually when colonies of shrimp grow, the ammonia and the nitrates can get higher and higher. Without the proper plants or water changes, there's a really good chance that you can lose some shrimp. If there's anything I left out of this video and you would like to know, be sure to leave a comment below and let me know. A lot of people like to use these dual sponge filters like this, and I've started to use more of them now in my tanks. But on smaller tanks, I would advise just to clean one filter at a time if this is the only filter that you're using. And usually in all of my tanks, I have more than two or three filters, and I never clean all my filters on the same water change. You can get reverse osmosis water from a water depot or a grocery store, and that is what I used to use in the beginnings as it's only two or three bucks for a five gallon container of this. Once again, I'm gonna use the only three things that I ever use for my water changes, and that is my shrimp salts, TDS meter, and prime water conditioner. A lot of people like to use test kits, and to be honest, I have not used my test kits in probably over a year. I really do trust my TDS and shrimp salts to the point to where I don't feel like I need test kits anymore. And once again, I'm looking for a TDS of around 130. And all I do after I put all of my stuff in is give it a good stir and dump it directly into the tank.
So if I was to suggest anything in particular in people with shrimp tanks, I would say lots of plants and do less water changes. I really hope that this video helped some people out there do their shrimp tank water changes as in the beginning of my shrimp keeping, I was very confused and sometimes I would do too many water changes and I would lose some shrimp and that's never a good thing. So I'm gonna leave you with some of my shrimp eating my food. I really hope you enjoy my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I hope you have a wonderful day and cheers.